Troy Carter is a music executive. What really makes him different is that he's really been able to translate his love of music into a bigger and broader business. Carter's from Philadelphia. He had aspirations to be in a rap group and he waited outside Will Smith's office every single day just to catch Will and hand him his record. Will ended up hiring him as an assistant and then he was able to sort of rise through the ranks. He joined Puff Daddy's label and then his sort of dream of being a manager, he was able to make that a reality. He was able to sign Eve. His real big break was around 2006 and 2007. He met someone named Lady Gaga, and she had just been dropped by her own record label. Troy stepped in and really helped her build her career to what it is right now. One thing that Troy says that really inspired him was when he was trying to get Lady Gaga out there, the channels by which he could use as publicity, it was actually technology. It was Facebook, it was YouTube, it was Twitter. And so that really got him thinking about the power of some of these technology platforms. And that's when he started investing in a lot of technology startups. The latest on Troy is that he just joined music giant Spotify to help that company get more musicians on the platform, manage their relationships with musicians and artists. What makes Carter so unique as a business person is he's been able to sort of bridge between two business worlds, one being entertainment and music, the second being technology, whether that be investing or advising companies. And part of that is because music and te technology are intersecting in a way that they never have before. So it's very interesting to see how Carter will be able to kind of future bridge those worlds, especially as it relates to music and mobile and how people are consuming music in the future.